We need to go pick up a certain slammed Ford GT because it's broken. It's at a shop that people insist that we go work at, but there's no tools, no way to get onto a lift, and it's in the middle of nowhere. Literally an hour away. So we have to go drive an hour, pick up the car, and then drive an hour back so that we can work on it in our shop because like we've got all the tools here, so why wouldn't we do that? And it's a $300,000 car. I'm not letting people, work. we're not working in other people's shops for that shit. Before we do that, we need to jumpstart our tow truck because why would it be reliable? I don't know. Are you serious? Oh, shit. Okay, go. Oh, no. It's already started. All right, never mind. It worked. I thought we fried the, the stupid little three post thing here. I know all about those because I've been stranded. All right, I thought we were about to add another little sizzle reel to our, really scared. to our journey, but we got it started. Might get stranded now though, so that'll take us back to old times with this truck. We have to do a few things before we can put a car on here, like get rid of these tires. And of course, there's only one place in the valley to recycle these tires, but, but, but it's next to a strip club. So a little lunchtime. No. They got, they sell steak too. They, know. they sell steak at the strip club. You have steak and eggs at the strip club. That's gotta be gas. Yeah, so we're, <laughs> we might have to go. <laughs> On company money, of course. Of course. The camel tow truck is so sick. It's got a PTO, custom duct tape, manual, all the six switches. The beacon on top actually works. Floodlight out really, really, really comes in handy. We trucking, brother? We trucking now. All right, now we gotta check in. I don't know what Hunter's doing. Did you win? What they say? It says 240 and top and ton. Full on scale. I think this is the scale. Yeah, let's we'll scale up. Now we're off roading. I don't know where we're going. This is crazy. There's so much just tired. You know, like the cords out of them. Looks like it. Yes. Did we throw them out, right? right? These guys up here want to These gents. Out. So you have to unload your own tires. Having fun yet? Do we just uh, unstrap them and tilt the boy and send her? Let's just talk about how disappointed I am that the uh, strip club is just a bar now. Yeah, what the hell? I'm starving. Yeah, you can go get food there, but it's not a strip club, so why even go? I'm just trying to pay some some mother's bills, you know? You know what I'm saying? Mm, why would it start first go? And why would we go to the right spot to unload these first go, Hunter? and let them all roll in that pile? Uh, if you want. <laughs> now turn it that way, you little bit, so you back into the pile. Yeah. You can't pull that up. Oh. Man, those really didn't roll. They didn't roll. No, not at all. Man, they didn't roll off. Those tires that he... I don't know. You're gonna have to tilt it. Yeah, it. I believe in him, he's got it. <laughs> this did not work at all. I'm letting this one go. Oh shit, what? <laughs> how, how did that go? Oh man, two out of 10. Two out of 10. Oh, here they come. All right, that was the easy part. Now we've got a good flat platform for a good low fucking car. Oh, I hate that place. It's a freaking maze. And the strip club is just whatever the heck this is. Is it Tuesday? It is Tuesday. Oh shit, they got Taco Tuesday going on. Not steak and eggs. Though. I'm gonna hold on. I gotta take off this plastic bag. Got some sweaty ass nipples. <laughs> take a little camel towing break for some sustenance. Camel toe break. Mm -hmm. Got me a sandwich brick with some secret aardvark. This shit's fire. This shit's so good. Shit's so good. Holy crap. Okay, we're here to get some uh, some gas, which is a very hilarious part of this truck. <clears throat> and why is that? Here, you wanna? Well, first off, we need. We don't have a gas cap. That's that's another issue. All right, you got you gotta like cock it in there. And just go nice and real slow because there's no bleeder valve, so it just over. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It literally seems so scripted, but it's, that's just how it is. I tried to overfill it. I thought I had it. That was like a tenth of the flow. So like, yeah, this uh, this tow truck is a lot of work. This might be a fence post, but it looks that way. It's been a good three minutes and you've gotten one gallon in. Okay, so somehow Hunter got that thing full full. And we don't have a gas cap. I can literally see it. It's full full. Uh, do you look at that? Good as new, better than stock. Hit us up for all your gas cap needs. Made it to plus soap. P plus negative dirt. Negative dirt plus soap. <laughs> Somewhere back here. Oh, I see the Alec mobile. Is it like a ring the bell and they come out? I don't know. What the f*** are they doing? I was trying to ring the bell, Alec, and it didn't... You didn't come out. Oh, well, I was too busy working. Oh, we are working. We're literally camel towing. We have to go get the Ford GT. We were trying to put a power steering pump in it, but we need to pull the whole inside out to access the firewall panel. You know, $300,000 car. We're like, all right, let's just not f*** anything up. How about that? <laughs> It's the, uh, well, we said we were coming in, it's the Alec Mobile right now. It is the Plus Soap. Do you have a name for it? Hell no, I don't know any of my cars. You just, just the Plus Soap Scubaroo? Yeah. The Scubaroo, yeah. The uh, Garrett 3067 uh, external wastegate, uh, running on ethanol, full of can, but I'm on the pump tuner right now because I don't have an actual like, ethanol gauge, so I don't know what to run it off of. I don't understand how you can tune something without having an ethanol gauge with like four different maps. Do you literally have a tank? There's not a flex fuel gauge in there. No. no. Well, I guess you, yeah, you just have, ECU, to, you have to measure your content. Because you right. I know you can do like, you can do flex fuel and stuff, but you're on like a GM flex fuel sensor, but I don't, I, I'm not sure if PCU Tech does it. We didn't see any sensor, because the fuel lines would be like right here. The sensor would be somewhere right here or found underneath the car. Mm -hmm. We didn't see anything. Hmm. But yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's ugly, but it's a good one for now. Did it slide yet? Oh yeah. It been oh, yeah. sliding? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did it first event like uh, two weeks ago? Are we good? Nice. What was that called? Uh, no, that wasn't Slash. Bonneville Bash. Oh. I did the first event in my Infinity like last year. So. Yeah, we're, we gotta go slide. We're fucking, we got that stupid Mustang. We got a bunch of shit we need to take out there. Okay, so there's way more involved with mixing detail sprays and uh, detailing products, right? Oh yeah. There's yeah. like so, colors, scents, smells, oh, hydrophobicity, uh, yeah, so, lube, so, 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 what, what else? Lubes, yeah, 100% lubes. Nice. We love lubes. And lube. <laughs> Oh, you're the worst. Plus Soap believes heavily in lubes. Yes, 100%. We love lube. All right, tell, tell us a little bit more of like what's involved in like making something oh, like this. Um, so it depends on what we're using. We usually have DI water, uh, which is distilled water. It comes for like three or four different filtration systems that we have. Or um, we also have this thing called emulsion and that ends up kind of having that nice little um, milky, Creamy feel or something. <laughs> yeah. it's why, like, why the long pause? Like, <laughs> I don't know. I got I got nervous for a second. Do you can say cream here? I just want to make sure the viewers can... or gushy. <laughs> yeah. gushy. So yeah, so it all depends on whatever we're making, whether it's going to be our something that's more clear, it's use DI water, or we're going to mix with the emulsion and DI water. It kind of depends on what we're doing. So all kinds of sciencey chemical stuff, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like how many how many ingredients are I mean, in we'll this? You to, think we'll have to like um, mess with it. Oh, wow, to do because this one's say. really strong. Mm -hmm. Sixty nine ingredients. Yeah, it's like sixty nine herbs and spices yeah. in the in every single plus soap. And four hundred and twenty oh, really yeah. uh, milliliters of my spit. Really, I'm buying fifty bottles. <laughs> right. The so apparently they're making a, uh, a special a, no, special it's, mix. It's a Baja splash. Baja splash. Baja splash. Yeah. No trademark. Nothing here. Apparently this smells like. A, a certain beverage from Taco Bell. Okay, you can come down here now. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> See, that does smell like some That's some Baja. Good. Frick, did you just call splash. it? Splash, splash, <laughs> Baja I splash. One word. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what was it? We're struggling today. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go put this turbo in this Diablo. But what word did you say two seconds ago? <laughs> I don't have. I, I draw. I, that's why I like write everything down. So I go back to. It. I'm just like, just yeah. I, I, I don't remember crap. Jeez.
This little toy car, wirelessly charges. So this is a Hot Wheels. Gerald over here. Oh, so did he make it? You need to meet no, him he because he's. Amazing. Yeah, Gerald, oh. come over here. Yeah, what the heck? Dude? That's right. You were he talking this about is Jared. This. He likes Hot Wheels. He yeah. makes a freaking oh, thing. Buying. <laughs> oh, are you buying some Hot Wheels? You one, you one of those scalpers? I was oh, just reading on Reddit about. Why I would say a scalper? <laughs> There's always someone scouting, there that's like, scouting. right as the place opens, there's always yeah, someone there before. Yep. That's you? Not always me, but I'm definitely there first. Oh man, I'm gonna add, everyone, add, everyone beat this guy up in the comments. <laughs> <Beat this guy. laughs> God, I think it's yeah, freaking dope. That's so, that's so crazy. Yeah, it's a tribute to Ryu's. It's you. But, what we came here for, some of that juice. juice. Man. So apparently this is a, uh, a new, what would you call this? A, 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 the, I don't want to say the C word. Mm -hmm. Protection device. A contraception for the environment. That's still a C word, but... Yeah. yeah, no, it's not coatings. They're contraceptions oh, for in the environment. Yep. All right, well, we're running late. I don't know if we're going to get the the rover done into Kaiden on time, but... Sorry, Kaiden. But... We're trying. But all you need in your life is juice. They're never letting us come back here again. <laughs> they love us. We love us. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got to christen the oh, yeah. the tow truck with a sticker. Yo, but... Yo. Oh shit, we don't have a glass cleaner. Do you have glass cleaner? I got glass cleaner. The new pumpkin spice. Is that a thing. Supra? That is a damn Supra. Mike. <laughs> Spray your eyes. I know. Oh shiz. Oh my god. Mmm. Oh, mmm, you smell that? Ha, <laughs> <laughs> mmm. That's Starbucks? If only you could be here. Hopefully it's... All right, don't you put any bubble or dust. Hopefully it's straight. It's okay if it isn't, right? It's fine. Yeah, it's yeah, fine no, if it uh, isn't. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. All right, brother. Oh, God, here we go, the old one. Man, you done this before? Shoo, yeah. These fingers look gentle. That's why I'm single. Those soft <laughs> hands. <laughs> Oh, there's one. Oh, no, you did. I blame Hunter for that one. <laughs> Thank God we got a, this. Thank God we got oh, yeah. a glass cleaner from Plus Up again. So. That's vinyl. Safe for vinyl. Huh? Safe for, <laughs> yeah, safe for everything. There you go. Sick. The official tow rig of Plus Up. Camel tow rig, get it right. Yeah. Camel tow. We, we can tow Supras. You can tow an FRS if you really want to. And some Firses. And some Firses, yeah. All right, we made it to... uh to captivate. They got some cool stuff in here. We got SLS, 911, STO, and then our little our little friend. So we were here last what, four or five days ago to get the power steering pump out of it. If it doesn't come out through here, it doesn't come out through the top, and it doesn't come out the bottom, there is an access right here that you need to get to to pull it straight out, but the whole interior needs to come out. And we don't really want to be in the way with all of this here, because that whole interior is going to be sitting outside of the car. Okay, Hunter, what's what's up next? Me too. What is the put on skid plates? Get this thing down on some two by fours, and then figure out how to load this thing up. Yeah, and then it's uh, just a couple steps to get it up on the tow truck because it's lower than your grandma's nipple. Oh, it's laying down. Got it right here. Is it like one of these? Yes. Oh, right here. Okay, is this finally the last step? And then we just go home? Okay, while Hunter is getting the GT loaded, down, loaded, on the ground, uh, I need to jump start this and get the bed of the tow truck on the ground and ready to load. But we gotta jump start it again. I think our freaking power issues are this cable here. A little corroded in there. I've seen that F bunch of cars up. How about that? How about that? Okay, so you get it started. Make sure that e-brake is on. Then you gotta put the PTO, engage it. This puts all of the bed stuff into gear so that we can use that. And everyone sees these on tow trucks, so Pull this, it pulls the throttle cable and it actually ups the throttle of the tow truck and you can uh, bring the whole body back, tilt it up, bring it back, tilt it up, same time, you've got a winch and then you've got this 
bar out there that really doesn't work for us, so. Yeah. Oh, just like, like normal. Somehow all of our wood and ramps aren't in there. I don't even know where the f they are. They're not in the shop. Yay, now we get to try and make pallets and whatever we have work. I think we're gonna get it. Seems solid. That's threaded reversely. Yep. Lefty tidy. That just gave me the rundown. We should we should just lefty tidy everything, honestly. Okay. I think this should do it. Half an inch not touching, but that's all we need. That's perfect, right? Now we gotta pull this out. Problem number 69. All of these hooks we have are too big and they definitely would have taken out this little intake here. So homemade soft shackle, I guess. All right, thank goodness there's a dumpster full of flooring materials. Let's see if we can uh, pull this little bitty up. 70,000 pieces of wood. My mental sanity later, I think we might get it. Then there's also the tricky thing back here. You gotta make sure the freaking diffuser isn't hitting. Gosh, fucking darn it. We need like a couple more pieces. Uh. All right, we got enough clearance here. I think we should be able to pop it up on that. You looking good over there? Stand on that piece of wood right there. Oh. Just gotta slay it on. Just give it a good, give it a good slide. Oh, you gotta, it's, we gotta turn it. Okay, now it's sliding, so that's sick. That's so good for us, I love that. Are the brakes on? Like, There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's see if you're straight. We're not scraping, it's just, it's something, it's just the wood cracking, it's not bad. I don't need, who cares if the 4GT drops on the ground, we're good. Ah, oh, oh, shit. Oh, is that on? I think that's flat bedded. Ooh. And I think that's it. Put that e-brake on. And just like that, Supercar Ownership 101. If you don't have a tow truck, you're gonna pay for a tow truck. And those idiots that you pay end up doing this stupid shit. I don't care how many race ramps you have, you still need wood. Yep. You always need wood, two by fours, dimes, pennies, and nickels, and you stack them up and you get it up. And if I know a thing about getting it up, I don't. I guess that's it. It's, it's loaded, I mean, now we have to drive back. Is it rush hour too? Everything's tightened down, locked up, parking brake on. Not gonna hit that. Solid. At least there's a beautiful sunset to send us off into our woes. It's nice. And we are back at the mother effing hive. Uh, this, truck, this, truck, this truck works. I think it's got rod knock, but hey. Look at that. It's finally home. It is home. But it hasn't even been started like to get worked on. We gotta take it off. We gotta freaking take it off. Fuck.